Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing very well. I do apologize for so much time between this video and the last one. Life has been crazy, but in actuality, I have been procrastinating a lot, including the voiceover for this actually. Like, I had this recording done a very long time ago, like at least like a week or two ago, and I just never got around to, well, voiceovering it and then posting it. But without further ado, let's get on to the artwork. I do want to say that this is unfortunately my second time doing the voiceover. The first time I was- well, first off, I'm doing this in OBS. So, it's kind of like, oh, it's a whole new thing. And I noticed that the microphone wasn't having anything pick up. And I probably should have done a very short test before actually doing my whole entire voiceover. But nonetheless, I will try to replicate the experience. Also, I do have a new mic since- definitely since last stream. So, I hope I sound a little better, but I do- I think I appear a bit quiet. Anyways, we will talk more about that. But first into the artwork, thumbnailing. Oh, that's so fast. And then enlarging the thumbnail and figuring out the pose. So, I remember last time that I was very concerned about like the time limit of, well, my, like how much time I would have because I was doing my voiceover through CapCut, I believe. Or it was through Lightworks, whichever I was using to edit. But I think I am going to be moving over to CapCut most likely, just because it feels a lot more user friendly interface wise. But so another issue I realized was that I could not see the whole entire screen because I don't know, it's just the way the editing software was. But I realized that on OBS there's a full screen display, so now I can see in real time and I see that we're moving on to some very, very poor line art for the chairs. But if you couldn't tell, which I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't, because not gonna lie, it's it's not great. But um, it is me at a hockey game because my college is sort of ish known for like their hockey, and while other sports are very important to our school, and we're actually like pretty good at other sports too, hockey is a big one, and also ice skating is a lot of like. It's not like an ice skating club, there's open skate like every other weekend, sorry, every other week. And there's like a club hockey team, and there's a men's hockey team, and I think there's a women's hockey team, and there's a lot of hockey teams. <laughs> and they like go all over the states and such, and they're like, oh my gosh, like their program can be very competitive, like the club hockey team, oh my god. But I never thought that I would be a type of person that would go like be enjoy watching sports because obviously the only sports that I've only really ever seen would be American football or as well yeah American football as y'all call it but we just got football but our football is well, you know our soccer is football everywhere else anyways we got all of the different like words we have <laughs> that different countries have for the same thing but I was I wanted to be brave and draw a hand for this one. I think it came out okay, but it just, the arm just doesn't look connected. <laughs> Especially in retrospect. Uh, fear not, I have been doing some more hand studies and more anatomy studies. But I think another main thing was that I, I record the time lapse for this, and I was also recording my screen for this because at the end, well, first off, in the beginning, I needed the like. I forgot to record, I think. I'm like, I started drawing and I'm like, oh, maybe I should like record this. So, good thing I had the time lapse on. But having the time lapse and the recording on, I feel like added a lot of pressure. And I was like, oh, I am drawing for a YouTube video, what's going through my head. And like, this has to be finished. This, has, like, I don't have to edit too much out and stuff like that. By the way, this voiceover has no like script or anything. I don't even have a point, like, a list of points to like touch on. But I, Hopefully will in the future, but yeah, the artwork, yeah, it's a bit stiff for sure. I was trying really hard with gradients and such, and it was around this point that I didn't notice, but there's something very weird with the liner. I don't know exactly why. I guess, I mean, it might have something to do with like the painting, the brush I used, because I was using, I believe, the soft paintbrush that I learned about from spirit art and I feel like I definitely admire her cleanness of the art but also like I don't know I just admire her art in general and but I also feel like I get inspiration and like 
looseness from looking at Sam Does Art because he goes for a more Pink Joy style and like the sketch isn't like like there isn't like definite line art like it's it's like a sketch and then like painting so I I don't know which style I want to go for more I kind of want to like be able to like do multiple styles and I feel like that's very important when you do art even if you're not going into like the industry it's just like having different styles is pretty neat but also I guess like focusing on one style is also very important anyways <laughs> I continue to struggle with figuring out what side the shadow would go on for hair for the right side of the hair like the shadow would go on the light I was figuring out my lighting lighting based on how I did my sketch and all that it was coming from the top right but there was also some like underlit shading because it's the hockey rink and there aren't like a lot of lights on in the back this was either right after or right before I was going to hockey game and I don't know if it was club or men's team but all I know is I wanted to have like a topic for an art video so yes <laughs> um if I'm all honestly oh, those chairs are looking bad I don't think they ever get much better but the hair is also it's very helmet like I I don't think this is a great reflection of my art oh my gosh I'm be trying to figure out how to apply the layer mm. <laughs> ah, this piece is a bit saturated in all honesty but I do like how the sweater came out a bit like it's just, it looks, I like the color, and just like, I don't know, there's something nice about it. I cannot get over the fact that that arm looks so detached, but I get, I kind of do like how I made like the ring reflections on the seats, because the seats were more like plasticky, so they would have some sort of a shine, but oh my gosh, the gradients, my file size is probably so big, oh my gosh. And then here I'm trying to figure out the highlights, and I'm like, yo, this is how people do highlights, and I'm like, wait, yo, I don't actually like this so much. Let me just like mess with the opacity, just scribble some more highlights on there. It's fine. Add some like cold breath to it, like I don't know, give more context to the fact that like it's in, it's like cold and nice rink. And this was probably around where I was like, yo, wait, why are it's like the line, or, like background lines? Or, why are some of the lines like kind of different? Also, me writing my name on the wrong layer. We gotta love it. Ah, uh, but that is that, and it shall loop again. I was very surprised when that happened. I'm like, wait, oh, it loops. Because, like, the first time I did the voiceover, I was like, I never, like, went through the whole entire thing before. But I suppose I definitely enjoy having, like, a certain objective for videos, but also I feel like there's a lot of pressure because I'm like, oh, wait, I have to, like, fulfills his objective i can't really doodle on the side i can't just like move on as much and i feel like i'm i'm very lazy so i don't want to edit too much out so i'm keeping all this voiceover in the good the bad the ugly oh my goodness but um i do hope to make more videos before the end of the year even though it's already november and i the time lapse will be playing right after this but without further ado, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and that I will see you again soon. Bye! Enjoy the time lapse! <laughs>